What's up guys? We are back here with another video. This video is about our top five favorite shows of all time. Little update, uh, we're engaged now. Just thought y'all should know. We're getting married at in... August. Yeah, August, we'll get married. Our first out of our five is One Tree Hill. We just barely finished this one. It has nine seasons. Um, the genre is drama. Um, you can watch it on Hulu, Max, and Amazon. Um, it's about these, let's see, Haley, Nathan, Lucas, Peyton, Brooke, Mouth, six or seven. There's a whole bunch of different main characters and they all kind of, um, go in and out of being main characters. Um, but it's about their high school life. And then um, halfway through the series, they go into like after high school, like four years later, what they're all up to. Um, but yeah, it's really good. There's a lot of drama in it. Um, there's a love triangle that continues to like almost the end of the entire series. It's really good. I would highly recommend it. We gave it a 8.5 out of 10. It was pretty good. Well, the second one we have is Yellowstone. I think a lot of you have probably heard of Yellowstone or seen it, but if you haven't, um, I do recommend it. Um, we gave it a 9.5. Let's see. Oh, my bad. We gave it a 7.5 out of 10. There's five seasons and it's considered a Western. Um, I would say there's probably drama in there too. Um, lots can... and lots and lots of drama. <laughs> lots of drama. It's a very fast paced show. Um, which is also why we gave it a little bit lower of a rating, just because the fast pace kind of made it hard to watch sometimes. Um, but you can watch it on Pluto TV, Peacock, and Fubo, and also Hulu. If you're into the old Western movies, it's a good movie. Um, but it, it, again, moves fast paced and um, lots and lots of drama. It's kind of hard to keep up with the show the entire time, which again it uh, reflects on our rating on the show but overall it's a good show if you're into it i think you'll like it so if you like fast-paced shows never gets boring that's for sure yes <laughs> third show on our list is white collar it has six seasons it's considered a drama you can watch it on amazon uh freebie and hulu i believe yeah. um it is so good it's about this art thief who turns to a CI um, and kind of helps the FBI hunt down other art thieves or art th forgers. Jeez, that's a hard word. Um, but yeah, it's really good. He escapes a couple times, but then comes back and he ends up being really good friends with one of the guys in the FBI. Um, he also has his best friend, Mozzie. <laughs> Mozzie's just a little turd and just gets Neil Caffrey into trouble all the time. It's it's really good. I would highly recommend it. We gave it a 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, it's really good. It's it's not the highest rated one on our list, but it, it's a really good show. And I think most people would probably enjoy it. The character development's really good mm -hmm. and the story is really good. So I, I think it would be, it, most people would probably enjoy this show. Fourth one on our list is Mr. and Mrs. Smith. If you saw the movie, there was a movie put out a while ago. Um, I think different. it was put out in 2004. It, different actors, totally, totally different. But this one is a TV series. It's only one season of it. But this is our highest rated one on our list. I thought this was a great series. Lots of drama. It's kind of slow. Or kind of like a slow burn almost. Just because... I don't know. It's like very anticlimactic and then all of a sudden it just like speeds up real quick. Yeah, so it is considered a thriller. Um, I think it's also drama. Not quite as much as maybe your typical drama shows, but there is a little bit. Definitely a thriller. And right now you can only get it on Amazon Prime, uh, which is, you know, whatever. I It's one of my favorite shows right now. I totally recommend it. And we did rate it a 9.8 out of 10. And our fifth one is Emily in Paris. It is three seasons. You can watch it only on Netflix. 
Um, we gave it a 7 out of 10 only because it's, I don't know, it's a drama. It uh, is very cheesy. It's uh, basically about this girl who's really into fashion, I think, or she's just like really good at marketing for fashion. And she goes to Paris expecting it to be like this great big thing and um, it's not. She kind of just... She runs into a lot of uh, like relationship problems too with certain guys and then also her boss is a meanie. Also there <laughs> there is a lot of French in that show so I would suggest putting on subtitles. Uh, so I do recommend subtitles. There's quite a bit of French in it. Uh, it is uh, like the main character Emily she speaks English but a lot of the, the other people in the show will speak some French yeah so yeah but it's really good um yeah it's basically just about her love interest she goes out there with a boyfriend and her boyfriend like comes out and a whole bunch of stuff goes down they end up breaking up and then she finds other love interests out in Paris and there ends up being like a love triangle at some point it yeah it's good. It's good. Rate them one through five, one being our most favorite and five being our least favorite. So we rated Mr. and Mrs. Smith a 9.8 out of 10, and it was our favorite. Um, then White Collar, which was a 9.5, and then One Tree Hill, which was an 8.5, um, Yellowstone, which was a 7.5, and then Emily in Paris, which was a 7.10. 7 out of 10. Guys, that's basically all we have. We just made a list of our top five mm, favorite shows that we've recently watched. If you guys want to see more or with movies or books or whatever, please just comment down below and let us know what you want to see next. Um, if you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe and we will see you guys next time. Bye.